guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jazzy, and if you're a returning viewer, thanks for tuning in for today's video. In this video, I'll be sharing with you guys how I transform my old braid out into something cute, something you can wear on a day-to-day -day basis, especially if you're trying to prep your hair for your wash day. So if you guys are interested to see how you can transform an old braid out into something cute, make sure you guys stay tuned for this video. Before I go ahead and jump right in, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button right down there. It would really warm my heart to have one more subscriber. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit that notification bell. So every time I upload a video, you won't miss out on any of my content. All right, without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump right into this video. I've had my hair braided for around three weeks now and I'm ready to wash my hair. But before I wash my hair, I wanted to go ahead and share with you guys how I take my braids down as well as how I style my braid out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start off by taking these braids down because they are so dusty, they are so crusty, and they're ready to just come undone. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take a rat tail comb and take my braids down. And I honestly am so excited to do this for you guys. So if you're going to wear your hair in a braid out style, so if you plan on like taking your protective style down and then wearing your hair like that, I suggest when you're taking your braids down and not to like comb them like this and make your hair frizzy, but to use the end of the comb so this way you're really not interrupting the hair and it'll be really cute. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fast forward through this part of me taking my braids down so this way you guys will just be able to see how I style my hair, but you guys will also be able to get an idea of how I take my braids down. It's been about three weeks since I installed these braids and I braided my hair myself when I initially braided my hair, the braids were a lot neater, but I have been wearing a lot of protective hairstyles, so my braids have been under my units. I braided my hair without my acrylic nails on, which is why the braids are so small. If you have fine hair, I would recommend doing eight to 10 braids for this style. Some people like to use an oil when they're taking their hair down. However, if I would have applied any oils, my hair would have been weighed down for this style and that's the last thing I wanted. While I was taking my hair down, I noticed it was dry and it was tangling easily, which makes me think my hair needs moisture. It's been a full three weeks, close to four to be honest with you guys, since I've washed my hair and did my deep conditioning treatment. Now that I'm done taking my braids down, this is how much hair I shed in a three weeks period, which I don't think that's a lot, to be honest with you guys. It's definitely more than what I acquire on a week to week basis, but for three weeks, that's not too bad. So now that I have my braids taken down, I'm just gonna go ahead and section my hair off into two sections, the top half and then the back half, and I'm actually going to put the top half up and while I was taking my braids down, I also noticed I had a lot of dandruff. So my scalp is definitely dirty and it has some product buildup, which is why I typically like to do this style on my hair once it's dirty. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and put the back in a ponytail using one of my silk scrunchies. So what I first like to do is go in with this Wet Lime Extreme Gel. And I like to use this first. And I'm not actually going to brush my hair out today. 
I'm just going to go ahead and apply this directly to my hairline using the comb and I'm going to be heavy handed with the gel because it's wash day for me and I really love how sleek I'm able to get my ponytail when I use this gel for this particular hairstyle. So I just use quite a bit. You make sure you work it in to the front of your hairline and then you can take a brush. I like to use a toothbrush and I'm just gonna go ahead and slick this gel into the hairline. And I'm going to pick up more gel as I go, I see needed, which yes. I actually really, really like this gel. It doesn't like flake up on me. It has good hold. And now I'm just going to start gathering my hair in the ponytail so I can go ahead and secure it. And again, you don't have to brush this half up, but if you want to like use a brush to make sure it's like super smooth, you can. But I typically don't need to, as you guys can see, it just pulled together really nicely. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hair tie and I'm going to secure this. And I have a really sensitive head, so I can't actually tie this too tight. So three times it's like pushing it, but that's what I'm going to do. Oh, jeez. And then fluff my ponytail up. I'm gonna scoot down so you guys can see. Now I'm just going to take the back down, fluff that up, and I'm going to take my toothbrush and go back in to the gel, and I'm going to lay down my baby hairs. You definitely don't have to do this. Some days I don't do this. I'm not really like a baby hair type of girl but sometimes when I want to, I do. It is just so hot, just have to fluff it out sometimes, you know, make it bigger. But overall, it is so freaking cute. So that is how I do my braid out takedown. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Yeah.